Edco self-propelled saws are built like tanks. These saws are designed for high production jobs and will cut miles of roadway with little to no vibration because of their heavy gauge steel frames and precision machined arbor shaft assemblies. These saws are ideal for highway, road, and bridge repair, utility installation, traffic loop installation, and any place where a long distance cutting is needed, like warehouses and airports. The SS20 has a blade capacity of 20 inches and can operate with a blade as small as 12 inches. The maximum cutting depth with a 20 inch blade is 7 and 3 quarter inches. It's available in propane, electric, and 20 horsepower and 13 horsepower gasoline. The 13 horsepower gasoline engine can accommodate a blade up to 16 inches. The SS24 is much like the SS20, but can accommodate a larger blade of 24 inches. These saws have the same console mounted controls with hand crank depth control. About to do a short demonstration with the SS20. We've already attached a blade. For those of you who are familiar with our SK14 and DS18, the, the blade goes on the same as those. Your arbor cap has a retaining pin. You want to make sure that the pin lines up with the hole location and also to make sure that the rotation of the blade corresponds with the direction of the cut per your machine. Two wrenches are there to tighten it up. Before we get started, I'd like to explain the, the console. Prior to starting this machine up, the blade saver switch needs to be in the dry position. The benefit of this switch is that when it is running and you got your water on, you kick the switch to the on. If the hose becomes kinked or the water supply gets turned off, the machine automatically turns off and saves the blade. To set the depth of your blade, lower the blade down until it makes contact with the surface of the concrete. Once that happens, you zero out your depth gauge to the arrow, and then with each crank, this automatically adjusts to how deep you have gone into the concrete. Choke for starting, your uh, throttle, twist lock, emergency stop, drive system. Free wheel, engaged. Forward, reverse. Start the SS20 and 24 by turning the ignition key and adjusting the turn to lock throttle cable. When cutting, the throttle should be full. Next, open the water valve so water runs over the blade. Switch the blade saver from dry to wet. Again, this safety feature stops the blade if the water supply is cut off. Use the hand crank and lower the blade to the surface. When it hits, adjust the depth gauge to zero and lower the blade to the desired depth. Monitor the blade's depth with the gauge. Pull the clutch into the dry position to allow the saw to propel itself. Move the speed control lever from neutral to forward and begin cutting. Mind the speed. Forcing the machine through the cut too quickly causes subpar results and blade damage. The free will option is for moving the saw manually. When the line is complete, put the saw in neutral and raise the blade from the surface. If necessary, put the saw in reverse and recut the line. The SS26 is a 26 inch self-propelled saw available in gas, electric, and diesel. It can be fitted with a 30 inch blade guard to accommodate a 30 inch diamond blade. Its maximum cutting depth is 12 inches. The 36 inch SS36 is Edco's largest saw and is available with a 61 horsepower diesel engine. The SS36 can be equipped with plunge cutting capabilities. Its maximum cutting depth is 15 inches. Both these saws feature an electric hydraulic depth control to easily raise and lower the blade. About to do a short demonstration with the SS36. This saw has the diesel option power. It can take up to a 36 inch blade. Uh, when you install this blade, 
you take the arbor cap, insert it into the blade, As you can see, this has an internal thread system. Then slide her on. Attach your, your bolt. This all comes with two wrenches. This here will hold the, the arbor shaft for tightening up your bolt. With this saw, when starting it up, again, you gotta make sure you're in the dry position. Once the water is kicked on, you turn this toggle to the wet cut. It has a water pump option. Again, if you're using a water pump, it's gotta be on to make sure you have water. The drive system, in, out. This is freewheeling. Forward, reverse, emergency stop. This throttle, you just pull, twist lock, or you can actually just wind this to wherever you want it. Find adjustment on your depth gauge. Once the blade makes contact with the surface, as you lower it, you raise, lower it, make contact, you zero this out. Then you can fine tune it here, and then you'll know your depth as you're cutting. To start these larger self-propelled saws, turn the ignition key and open the throttle. In this case, a water hose is being used so the valve is open and the blade saver switch is turned to wet. Lower the blade by using an electric hydraulic system. The hydraulics are controlled by this rocker switch on the top of the drive grip. Lower the blade until it makes contact with the surface. Adjust the depth gauge to zero and continue to lower the blade with the rocker switch. If you need an exact depth, use the hand crank. You'll have more control to reach a specific depth. When the depth is reached, make sure the drive lever is on the end position. This will engage the drive system. Before engaging, make sure the saw is in neutral, then slowly move forward. When the line is cut, use a hydraulic to pull the blade from the surface. 